We welcome him to the Fox News family. Fox News contributor now fully eligible for our Christmas party, Lawrence Jones. <laughs> Yay! Congratulations, Lawrence. Congratulations, my friend. Thank you guys so much. So I happy for you. It so much. All right, uh, you're, you're a workaholic. <laughs> you, got, you got two full job, full time jobs, but you also keep us in touch with what's going on on campus. What did you discover? Yeah, so th there's a lot of craziness on, on the college campuses, but one thing we discovered through these videos is that a lot of these kids don't really know what they believe. They've been taught what to believe, but as we've been reporting at the Leadership Institute's Campus Forum, the, the indoctrination is so heavy on these college campuses that they don't even challenge the point of view there. Hey, Lawrence, let's take a listen to a, to a clip here. This is students you talk to that say they hate Trump's State of the Union, but they're actually President Obama's. Yeah. Take, a look. take a listen. Today, we're at John Jay College getting reactions to President Trump's State of the Union address last night. We're going to give them a few quotes from the speech and ask their reaction, except the quotes we're giving them are actually from President Obama's State of the Union addresses. I talk about China saying China wants to write the rules. That would put us at a disadvantage. Why should we let that happen? We should write those rules. I wouldn't mess with China. Everything is out the window. Like, oh, whatever you, oh, oh, China, China, China. <laughs> they don't know better. <laughs> exactly. So just because it had Trump on it, they were told to hate the president. Uh, now, once these kids discovered that it was Obama, as you can imagine, they may have squeezed out of it and said, oh, we probably didn't understand what was happening. But again, this goes back to critical thinking. Uh, do you really have this point of view or are you just taught to, hope, to hate the opposing guy? Well, and Lawrence, so the second one, we've got some students and they're hating on President Trump's Supreme Court pick, but only one problem. It was before he picked him. Right. <laughs> Today we're in New York City talking to students about President Trump's Supreme Court pick. The only thing is he hasn't made that pick yet. I just saw the pick and I was like, like, it's almost at a point where you kind of expect that some, it's not going to be what you want. He's quite, you know, extreme in his views. And I don't know if it would make the Supreme Court very even. <laughs> a little confused there, aren't they? Yeah, these kids are, are actually, they can vote now, which makes this scary. Look, and these kids are no different than the leftists that we saw protesting in front of the Supreme Court. They had the big poster boards that were, they were just waiting for the president to announce it just so they could write the name on there. It's crazy. All right, Lawrence, look forward to catching up with you a lot in 2019. Have a great